Hello everyone and welcome to stampityourself.com. My name is Connie Ray and today's tutorial is Pretty Kitty. This little card I made for my niece. It was her birthday on the weekend and I decided to, let me just zoom out a bit, um, use the Pretty Kitty. Who can resist the Pretty Kitty? Um, kitty stamp and I've used um, some, this tutorial is using Whisper White, Smoky Slate, <laughs> and um, a few other bits and pieces but we'll go through that together just now. Okay so um, to make this tutorial you obviously need Whisper White and you need that 11 in landscape and four and a quarter in width. I've also used the tags and labels of framelits which are these guys here. Um, I I have mentioned this before in a previous tutorial um, but I'll mention it again because sometimes um, some people don't see other tutorials but what I've done to manage the sizing because they don't have the sizes written on them it can be a bit confusing as to which one's which so as you can see here I've written one two and three and then on the other side I've got four five and six um, so in this tutorial I used number three and I used number six to cut out my little um, kitty after I coloured her and to do the obviously the um, the matte card that goes underneath the um, kitty to give it some dimension so that's how I've done that and I, every time I use these which is quite a lot I um, I would I'll try, probably try and bring them out so you can see them because it does make a little bit more sense instead of trying to say well the one that's third in the middle and the fourth in the middle it gets a bit confusing after a while so I do like these framelits because they cover quite a lot of um, options really good and they look lovely on a card this is a very quick tutorial it's not a difficult tutorial but it just looks lovely oh sorry went out of camera there let me just back it up a bit there we go so yes that's going to be the tutorial today and on the inside of I've, I've stamped it as well so basically you're going to be getting your pretty kitty stamp set and I have used the bottom kitty here this kitty hopefully you can see that there we go this one here and I have used the stamp set Sweet Sayings, I've used They Say It's Your Birthday and I've also used the Celebrate on the inside of the card and this is down the bottom of the card. So as I said, really straight tutorial, straightforward tutorial, um, just your normal cardstock, your smoky slate mat and your white mat and then you use the um, tags and labels framelits to do this one but what you need to do is I have colored in my kitty and um, unfortunately these aren't stamping up these are Copic markers um, and I've mentioned this before in my tutorials as well I use the Copic markers because they're my preference um, for me they don't tear the paper they work really well um, and they've got a variety of colors the this set is actually called the pastels colors and they've got a variety of the well not a variety but they come in a pack of six and obviously I have used um, yellow the blue well, actually I've used all of them so you know but you can't really it doesn't really matter which way you color in your little kitty there's my little kitty there and as you can see like it's they're quite because they're alcohol markers they're really cute and they they blend really beautifully you know you've got no tearing of the cardstock they blend beautifully and but you know look you use whatever you like to use because I don't get any endorsements for using these or recommending these these are just my preference um, they're good alcohol markers and they work well so basically what I've done is as I've just explained I've colored in my kitty pretty straightforward hey so I've colored in kitty and I've got her to the colors that I like I have used my tags and label framelits and I have popped them on together and I'll just do this now for this says this basically is a quick tutorial in the sense where all I'm doing is really constructing the card now because um, it's nice to have quick tutorial isn't it and one that you can use that looks really good you can use this like the 
The tags and, and labels framelits can be used in so many different ways, but principally this card, whatever the, um, the icon that you choose to use, will look good with this card structure. It's very easy. Now I have also embossed my um, Mm, lost it. <laughs> uh, smoky slate. Is it smoky slate? Yes, yeah, smoky slate cardstock with the elegant dots uh, embossing folder, but you don't have to. I've done it with it and I've done it without, and they're both, it just looks pretty much the same. So it's entirely optional if you want to do that, just for a little bit of texture and a little bit of interest, you can do that. So basically, I've popped it up on, with a few dimensionals. Kitty's sitting up a little bit higher on her um, grey mat. And then, um, as I've said, I've done nothing more than basically do my card, colour my kitty, and construct the, the actual card. So it's pretty straightforward, but it is good because you can use it for many, many occasions. And um, we all like a card that we can just whip up together. And I have to say, you know, oh my gosh, hello to the new subscribers. I have to say that, number one. And <laughs> and thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'm glad that I'm getting more and more subscribers every day. That's super. Just means more, more things for me to play with eventually <laughs> when I start getting paid. <laughs> um, I was in the shop the other day and I was actually looking at the price of car. Like I just went past and I said to my son, oh, Look at these cards, and I wanted to have a look at the cards to see what was available. And then I had a look at the price of cards, and I nearly died. They're like seven dollars, eight dollars a card. It's like, are you serious? My goodness! Besides the fact I would never buy a card, um, I was just shocked at how much a card costs. I mean, you get uh, twenty-four sheets of, of Whisper White cardstock, thick Whisper White cardstock. Uh, for $12.95, you get 24 sheets, so that gives you basically 24 cards that you can make your on your own, and they're $12.95. So that's like so much cheaper for 24 cards. I'm thinking, wow, people actually pay $7 to $8 a card? That's just ludicrous. Anyway, moving right along, I was quite shocked. All right, so again, um, I have used dimensionals in every aspect of this card because you want to give it a bit of height because it does look good with height. Uh, let me see if I can get on the side and, and show you with a little bit of, ooh, bit of trickery there. I don't know. Yes, but anyway, look, it does look better with a little bit of dimensional height on it. It does look nicer. Okay, so basically I've, do, I've just basically put the grey mat down, popped it up with some dimensionals. I've popped Kitty onto the grey um, cardstock, Smoky Slate I think it's called. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is to just do a little bit of stamping using Smoky Slate. And this the sentiment on the front is they say it's your birthday. So I'm using that one out of the Sweet Sayings. Got to get my stamp up right. So I'm just using the Smoky Slate. Ink it up really well. And just down the bottom, we're just going to pop this on here. Is that the right way? Yes. They say it's your birthday. And then we're going to... pop this one up on some more dimensionals to give this card some height. So if you wanted to use um, Bella and Friends, which is the other little um, animal one, which is the puppies, you could use the puppies. If you want to use the puppies, you could use a flower. You can do anything. But this, this actual style with these... Um, tags and label framelits works really well i like it because i can do anything in it and i can whip up a card in seconds and it looks really nice it's got really nice um texture on it and then of course i'm going to pop kitty on the back i'm going to pop her up on some dimensionals just to make sure that we've got a little bit of height there because i like to it does make the difference. Really simple card, folks. Really simple, but one that's um, worth having in your repertoire. 
And again, the, I think the difference in this card with this card is the tags and framelet and labels framelets because that gives you that little bit of um, border around the middle. So I do like it. Okay, so there we go. Pop it down. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? Once you've coloured it in. So yeah, you can use it for anything. Now in the middle, I have uh, again gone with the Smoky Slate and I'm using the Celebrate You, this one, from the Sweet Sayings. Good stamp set, this one. It covers a lot of um, situations. And I've got Celebrate You. And this is exactly the same as I did the other day for my niece for her birthday. And um, I've just put that down in the middle as a sentiment. Celebrate you. And I've gone back and I've got my markers again. And I've just added a little bit of colour to the little ferns that are on the actual arm. Um, I'll bring you up closer. There we go. And I've got just a little bit of colour, just a tad here and there. It's kind of nice. It gives a little bit of interest. Just a random way of adding colour and prettiness and elegance to your card. It's like a cornflower blue, that one. It's quite nice. If you can get the pastels in there, there's a few sets of them, but there's also the other markers as well. There's quite a few Copic markers, so just um, be careful with what you're getting. And if you're not sure, just check. But these uh, these ones are just the pastel collection, and they cover a lot of um, our cards. They complement our cards very well. So there you go. I've just coloured in the Celebrate You. See the pretty colours? Then they look good. Okay, and that basically is Pretty Kitty card all done so that is a really good card very quick i know very quick but a short video is a good video isn't it i hope <laughs> um thank you very much for joining me and i have got another card coming up very soon but i do hope you enjoyed this tutorial it was as i said it's quite easy to do but it also gives you a gorgeous option to add um, and change your icon around but it gives you your matting and it's just so easy to do when you're in a hurry or you've got boys girls whatever it is that you're doing it for um, you can use flowers whatever it's entirely up to you but it's a good card and it's an easy card so thank you very much for joining me and I will have another tutorial for you very soon thanks for um, stopping by thanks to all the new subscribers and um, welcome to all um, yeah I'm just going to stop rambling now. Um, <laughs> so, okay, thanks very much for joining me and I look forward to having another tutorial for you very soon. Don't forget to check out my um, Facebook page and, of course, if you want any of these products, you just head up to the top over in the right-hand side of the YouTube channel and click Stamp It Yourself and it will take you straight to the store and you can buy any of these products that you may need or any supplies anywhere. If you live anywhere in Australia, you can purchase them um, through me. It doesn't matter where you live in Australia. And... Um, you don't have to join unless you really want to. I get 25% off all my products um, when I purchase because I'm a demonstrator and I have earned that priority. And I think it's, um, if you're a hobbyist like me and you like to do what you're doing, why not save yourself some money? But that's entirely up to you and you can do that through me as well. So go in and have a look at the shop and see if there's anything that you like. And um, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by and we'll talk to you soon.